Hey guys, so welcome to the Tumors and Music YouTube channel. Um, I'm switching over for two reasons, mainly. One, so my videos can be longer because Tumblr's limit is five minutes, and this way I don't have to always do that. Um, and two, so that way they're played through the YouTube video player rather than the Tumblr video player, because we all know which one is better. Um, nothing else is going to change, though I really appreciate it if you subscribe to this channel, because that's pretty cool. Um, anyway, <laughs> today we are going to talk about something that I've had a lot of asks about, including this morning, and that's people who aren't supportive of what you're doing as a music major, people who ask you, like, sh why are you studying music? What, shouldn't you be doing something that will get you a job right out of college? Everything like that. We've all heard it a million times. The only re real way it stops is when you get a job in a full-time orchestra, and let's be real, there aren't that many of those. So until then, <laughs> um, we're gonna come up with some ways to get these people to shut up. <laughs> um, and I mean, the first thing is, if you're doing what you love, then you shouldn't apologize for it. Um, and there's a lot of people who will accept, I'm doing something I love. I'm not spending four to ten years of my life studying something I don't want to do. I'm not spending two hundred thousand dollars or more on a degree I don't want to use. Um, and those people are lovely. However, there are quite a few people who still are, still think that you should do something that will get you a job, that will automatically get you a job. Um, which is why there are so many engineering students in the world. Um, but there's a lot of things that people don't most necessarily know about music majors that can help you get out of these awkward situations. And the first thing, and it's the one that I generally talk about when people ask me this, is that music majors are actually really, really appealing to um, grad schools, first of all, and programs like law school, med school, business school, um, like professional programs. Um, because a lot of them are extremely rigorous, involve a lot of focus and dedication, and involve really letting something take over your life for three, however many years, whatever you're doing is. And I think that sounds familiar to a lot of you guys who are studying music right now, because Music majors take over your life. It requires dedication, focus, and more work than anyone really knows. So having a degree like a music degree means that you actually have the skills that they're looking for already. Um, and they don't want a low um, success rate. They want everyone who goes into the program to make it out of the program. So seeing a music major on your resume is actually a really good thing. Um, and that's not to say that you have to go to law school after music school, but it's a way to get people off your back being like, hey, well, I don't just have to do music after I do this degree. I can go to med school. I can go to law school. I can go to grad school in something completely different, As, though obviously you do have to have coursework in that subject. Um, and even with the more professional-based programs, you do need to have some coursework. Um, and that kind of leads into my next point, which is that basically every music major in North America requires coursework outside of music, even conservatories. Um, if you are getting a Bachelor of Music or a Bachelor of Music Ed, any kind of actual degree, you have to have some coursework outside of music. And that means that you have to do coursework outside of, like, you have to study other things. Um, so you're not just studying music. You can actually do, um, you can do a minor, you can do another major, you can do so many things outside of music. And again, not saying that you have to, um, but it's a way to get people to shut up. You can be like, well, I actually am studying this as well. I did a minor in history in my undergrad, actually. Um, and so when people are like, oh, but why, like, music isn't going to be useful for you. I was like, well, I have a minor in history if I ever need it. Like, I've studied other things, and if I want to go to grad school for something else, I can show them that I can do other coursework. Um, and so that's sometimes useful as well. And the final thing is that, like, even once you have a degree in music, and even when you go, once you go into music, there's more than just being a performer. 
there's arts administration, there's music therapy, there's music education. There's so many things that aren't just perform performance-based and aren't as in flux as performance uh, jobs can be. Because granted, being a freelancer is not exactly an easy job. Um, though if that's what you want to do, go for it. You have to commit. But you don't have to be just a performer with a music major. Um, there's so many fields in music that no one knows about. Um, and so many things that you can do that are a job straight out of college. Like, it's not just us auditioning around. Um, and so that's... There's a lot of things that you can do. Um, and I, hopefully those are things that people will accept as reasons why you were studying music. And not that any of these have to be things that you want to do, but it's a way to get people to shut up and stop bothering you about the fact that you're doing something useless, which you aren't. Um, just saying. Music majors are not useless. I have a, I have two of them, or working on my second. Um, like, it's something that... I am very passionate about, and I don't care what other people think, but I am armed with ways to get them to stop thinking that I am doing something worthless with my life. Um, so yeah, hopefully this helps you guys a little bit, and people will stop bothering you. Um, and I will see you next week.